I am Dr. Shoykot. Today I am going to discuss about stroke. What is stroke? The clinical definition of the stroke is neurological deficit due to non-traumatic vascular cause lasting more than 24 hours or interrupted by death within 24 hours and is evidenced by radiology that is CT scan or MRI is called stroke. But for understanding this clinical definition doesn't help in any way. For understanding we need to see from its pathophysiological point of view. Now I am making it clear on the board. So there are two terms cerebral infraction and cerebral hemorrhage this cerebral infraction may be due to inadequate blood supply to the part of the brain if causes neurological deficit then it, it, it will be called as stroke and also cerebral hemorrhage if causes neurological deficit it will be called as stroke so cerebral infraction due to the inadequate blood supply to the part of the brain or cerebral hemorrhage if causes neurological deficit it will be called as stroke now this cerebral infraction may be due to uh, atherosclerosis arteriosclerosis emboli from the heart valve hypercoagulability and polycythemia and what are the causes of cerebral hemorrhage the cause of cerebral hemorrhage are complex small vessel disease like microaneurysm aneurysm arteriovenous malformation impaired blood clotting and thrombolytic therapy but the most important cause of this cerebral hemorrhage is uncontrolled hypertension now the classification of the stroke there are two classification of the stroke pathological classification and clinical classification So according to the pathological classification, there are ischemic stroke and hemorrhagic stroke. Now what happens in ischemic stroke and hemorrhagic stroke? I am showing it on the board. So in ischemic stroke what happens is there is inadequate blood supply to the part of the brain due to occlusion of that vessel or occlusion of that cerebral artery due to this atherosclerotic plaque a thrombus or maybe an emboli from the heart valves. So there is occlusion of this vessel by this atherosclerotic plaque or maybe emboli from the heart valves due to occlusion of this vessel the normal blood flow to this part of the brain is compromised there is reduced blood supply to that part of the brain due to reduced blood supply to the part of the brain there is actually hypoxia due to hypoxia there is reduced ATP and also there is anaerobic metabolism that's why there will be death of all cell types in that area of maximum ischemia so this is what happens in ischemic stroke but what happens in hemorrhagic stroke now I'm showing it In hemorrhagic stroke what happens is there is a disruption of the blood vessel due to disruption of this blood vessel there is entry of blood into this brain parenchyma and if there is explosive entry of blood into this brain parenchyma then
the normal neuronal structures are disrupted and this white matter fibers are split apart if these things are accompanied with the cerebral edema or hematoma formation then it acts as a mass lesion and this mass lesion will cause neurological deficit and if this mass lesion is big enough sometimes it causes shifting of the intracranial contents and rapid death may be there so this is what happens in hemorrhagic stroke now what are the clinical classification of the stroke So according to the clinical classification, there are four types of stroke. Transient ischemic attack, stroke, progressive stroke and completed stroke. Now what do we mean by transient ischemic attack? Transient ischemic attack is when focal neurological deficit will resolve less than 24 hours or focal neurological deficit resolves within 24 hours then it is called as transient ischemic stroke. And what is stroke? When focal neurological deficit persists for more than 24 hours then it is called stroke. And what is progressive stroke? In progressive stroke what happens is the neurological deficit worsens after the patient first presents. Like this focal neurological deficit will worsen, it will progressively increase. So this is called progressive stroke. And in completed stroke what happens is focal neurological deficit persists. It doesn't progress. That's why it is called completed stroke. So in completed stroke focal neurological deficit persist it doesn't progress so these are the clinical classification of the stroke